should probably give myself like slightly more time before that ends. Hi guys. Ugh. All right. Uh, let me get the uh. Apparently the video capture device isn't working, so that's good. Get some spooky music on while I try to figure out why my capture card hates me. How are you guys? Nugget and Kuro! How's it going? Alright, uh, capture card. Oh, there, the capture card was like, oh. Let's go now. This is fine. Alright. I'm gonna stream with the lights on this time, because <laughs> we're not playing a horror game, so I don't need the lights down. Black. Indeed. Black indeed. Is it loud enough? Well, let me know if it's not loud enough. All right, let's let's do some things and stuff. That's not the button I wanted. All right, so we got a couple of things to do tonight. Got a couple of commissions. Uh, I think we can start with Disco Sheeb. Yes, Kuro picked the music. It's great. Accidentally, accidentally killed a dude in Skyrim just now, and your finger literally slipped. Well, rip. Get some reference up on my other computer, because it's hard to bring stuff up. You do like your Mario stuff, which is good. <laughs> Koala, what's up? Uh, let's start with Disco Sheep, since I don't know if Kale's here, so we'll start with Disco Sheep, and then we'll go on to the other two things. Oop, that's a private conversation. <laughs> Scroll up. There we go. Wanted to look at the list. Oh, I also have to do... Oh, I have a lot of stuff to do, actually. <laughs> Everyone lives! Hi, Flugly! Uh, this just happened yesterday. Yes, this happened. This just happened recently. Uh, thought it was... Thought it was time. So, here we are. Um... I'll just kick in your ass? Yeah, I, I bet. I know. It's the face cam. It's me! You can see my face. Uh... Okay, let's start with Disco Sheep. Which who which one was it, Kuro? It was Gumdrop. You wanted Gumdrop. Okay, that's what I thought. What the one with that? All right, how do I want to handle this? You guys get to see me awkwardly looking up uh, references on my other computer because I'm afraid to bring pictures up on the screen, a stream now, just in case, like, BBC comes out of nowhere and fights me. <laughs> draw Tefla drawing a butt. I definitely thought you were gonna say draw Tefla drawing, um... Draw Tefla drawing, like... Beef arms on herself, like Tefla with beefy arms. <laughs> Fight me, BBC, right? I'm trying to decide if I want to draw Gumdrop standing up, like... You know, like, have her, like, standing up like a person? Or have her, like... Bopping, like... Or just have her, like, bopping... On, like, all fours? <laughs> beefy arms are so good, beefy arms are always good. Do you have a preference? Do 
Like, do you have a preference if she's standing up or on all fours? The song is from Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, well. Not according to the downloader. <laughs> That's weird and confusing. You were seeing the two-legged version? Alright, you got it. Well, then we'll go with a two-legged version. Spoopy. We're getting that spoop. You like my, uh... I can't see myself. <laughs> like, there's, there's Pumpkaboo. He's, he's watching. And there's also a... I can't figure out which way to go. There's a chandelier right here. Honey nut filios, I love that. A picture of I forget how I drew dropped the last time. She's a little bit, like, Animal Crossing-ish, I think. We'll fix it. Hey, Aubrey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, I didn't show you guys what I got yesterday. Hang on, let me pull him down. Get up and... Isn't he lovely? I got him in the mail yesterday. I won him on that crane game app I was playing. And he's really big. And I loved him. He's not super soft, though. Like, he's he's squishy, for sure. But, like, the fabric he's made out of isn't, like, a minky. So he's a little bit coarse. Like, the... It, it's like that, like... It's like that rough... Uh, well, it's, it's like that, like... You know, it's like a cheaper material. So he's made out of, like... I got him today. Or yesterday, rather. Except I put him up on the shelf and he doesn't go up there very I'm gonna put him down here next to us on the floor so that uh, I don't have to put him back up there. He was in kind of an interesting position in the crane machine too, so that was why I tried to win him because he was kind of like I thought I could, I thought I could win, you know. I don't know how your, I don't know how your hairs go. This is actually from Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, I always get confused. I, think I need to make that body a little bigger, maybe. I always get confused whenever I hear the um um ukulele music because it makes me think of Banjo Kazooie. At a store, but work exactly. You buy ten bucks worth of credit, and then you get two free plays a month. Um, 
I'm not sure how the free plays happen. When you first join the site, you get five free plays. And then, um, I, if you, I, I guess if you buy $10 worth of tickets, you get one free play a day. Or do you only get the free plays the month you bought the credits? You get, I think you get a free play every month for the whole month that you bought the credits. Yeah. Because I've been getting... I almost kind of want to flip the legs the other way now that I'm looking at it. Um, she's like twisting. I'll have to give her some kind of dress or something that like is swooshing to one side. Um, but I don't know how you get, like, free plays otherwise. There was, there was, like, a, a couple days last month where I got, like, four free plays out of nowhere, and I don't know why, but... I'm honestly a little concerned that, like, I lost my, uh, one of my prizes, and that was why I got all those free plays, you know? If, if that makes sense, like, I don't... A little... Do, like, a little dress with a sash. Something about getting three plays on the twelfth, on the 10th and the 20th of each month. Maybe that's why I got a bunch of free plays. I didn't really look that much into it, to be honest. Um, I'm sad and trusting, so... I got a bunch of cool stuff off of it. And I didn't spend a ton of money on it, so that's, like, a good plus. <laughs> you know, not spending, like, a million dollars on it. I could totally see how they make all their money, though. Through, like... You know, people, people wanting to win stuff. You bought yourself a tablet today? Oh, cool. Do you know have to print 60 pages worth of secondary sources? Ushib. Better? History classes are rough. <laughs> so hyped for next month. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play Paper Mario next month after we're all done with horror things. Although I'm really enjoying SCP. I forgot how good that game was. And also terrible, because it's so buggy. I was thinking about this the other day. I don't think that- I, I think that monsters should not be allowed to get you while you're in 914. Like, when you're in the room with the one that lets you make stuff, I don't think you should be allowed to get attacked in there. Like, I almost feel like that should be, like, a safe room. Or at the very least, you should be able to lock the door to protect yourself. It's kind of bullshit that Radical Larry can just come in there whenever he wants. But that's neither here nor there. Let's see if that little tail fits there. I'm not really sure. We'll get some good lights coming down. SCP website's just fun to read. It really is. I'm so glad I had the face cam yesterday for me dying. Oops. No, don't drop like 
that. <laughs> what are you doing? Musical notes around, just... I read it when I get bored at work. That's why I like East Side Show, because I can listen to SCP readings at work. He doesn't have all of them yet, because he's still working through the huge list of SCPs, but... I don't know. I really like listening to them. You can, yeah, this song's really quiet. <laughs> Which, of course, means that the next one's gonna be absurdly loud. <laughs> Inches, 11 by 15. I, I can't really hear it that much either, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> I didn't get to go through and audio balance anything, because I did this, like, literally two minutes before the stream started, so... <laughs> oh, I should probably check this from the other side. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. We'll keep going and see. Alright, that's not as loud as I was expecting. Uh, 939's a cool one. Uh, what? Does anybody have a favorite SCP? I have a couple that I just really like. For, like, various reasons. I do have face cam. This might start to be a regular thing, although I gotta remember to keep, like, looking at chat and saying hi to you guys, because I'm gonna just keep slouching into the side of the camera until you can't see, any see me anymore. You can bounce it when I fix ends room. Yeah, I gotta go through and check all the audio levels and stuff. That's bound to happen. Sometimes there's sometimes ones that just are too loud, and that's just the way. It, that's just the way it is. Or they're or they're too quiet, or they're too loud. You know, it, it happens. The potato bag. The potato bag was really cool. There's a reading of the potato bag one on East Side Show, and um, I, I like listening to that one. That one was cool. The weird vending machine is very cool. The goo that is amazing for everything except don't let it touch dead bodies. I don't remember that one. <laughs> that sounds incredible though. Favorite SCPs are the ones that can't be kept a secret or are a part of daily life. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Blarney Stone isn't an SCP to my knowledge, but it would make for a good one. Um, I really like... What's the other one I really like? There was there was one I listened to recently on East Side Show that was about, uh, I think it was a gas mask that you put on and it teleported you to like... Like as long as you were wearing the mask of whatever it was, I think it was a gas mask. It would teleport you to like this other like world that had like these weird anomalous creatures in it, and the plot twist at the end of the story was really cool. The Anesthesia one was really cool, too. Just describing the big, like, ocean serpent thing was just fun. <laughs> Color is an SCP. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> I saw this thing that honestly sounds like an actual SCP, but apparently is a thing IRL, so... I know there's the Any Liquid Vending Machine SCP in SCP, but I saw a Tumblr post once of a mystery vending machine that has all blank slots and you put in 75 cents and get a random soda? 
That's kind of cool. It's kind of like it. It is kind of like that. A cell phone that turns into a bird when you send text messages. <laughs> it literally tweets. <laughs> Oh, the vending, the vending machine one is just a cool concept, kind of, in general. It just... Oh, that's fun. Is, is the gas mask a thing? Oh, that's cool. I might have to put that one on, because that was a cool story. That one was cool because it was really neat to, um, to, to listen to the story the first time. Th I won't spoil it if you've never heard it, um... Go read it, though, because it's really cool. Um, but there's kind of, like, a plot twist, so at the end, like... I went back and listened to it a second time, knowing the ending. And it was it was a different... Kind of a little bit different of a story. I'm gonna give her... I feel like she needs something. Like a little bow. I decide what I want to have her wearing, too. I'm guessing it's not the gas mask we have, though, since I've put it on several times and nothing bad happened to us yet. <laughs> Started writing SCP a couple years ago, but I got an injury. An injury got in the way and you forgot about it up until now. What was your SCP about? don't mind sharing, I'd love to hear about it. The Living Calculator? I don't remember that one. Caterpillar Explorer. That all sound delightful. I agree with it, long division is hard. <laughs> Me, yes. That, I, yes. Okay. Listen, listen up, Coliseum. I should probably stay over here where the mic can still hear me. Listen up, Coliseum monsters, all right? Stop dodging. Don't dodge. Got it? I'm on the same page. Pinky finger being a parasite that's attached itself to your hand. I got the idea from the fact that, unlike your other fingers, it's possible to move it independently. Oh yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Because like, if you move your pinky finger, your other this finger twitches a little bit. Unlike you know your index finger, where you can just do whatever you want with it. pinky toes like that too isn't it i feel like i remember hearing somewhere that like the toe the pinky like you need your pinky toe now i'm trying to remember if i have this fact backwards or not i feel I, so, so at one point i heard that you either do or do not need your pinky toe and i can't remember which one it is but it was like it was really specific a really specific piece of information it wasn't like oh yeah you would be fine like if you lost it like i feel like you wouldn't I feel like it was that you wouldn't be able to stand up if you didn't have your pinky toe. <laughs> but I don't remember now. <laughs> that was one of those moments, like, as I started to talk about it, I was like, wait, was that how it went? I love that some of them are, like, anomalous objects, while some of them are like, hey, guess what, you're... something... Uh, while some of them are just like, hey, you know, um, some of them are like, yeah, so this vending machine can make you whatever you want, while some of them are like, 
Where did humans come from? What's this star that's yelling at us from a distance? Since humans don't have tails, toes are important, but you don't... Don't know if you specifically need your smallest toe. Yeah, I know the toes are really important for balance. I'm trying to remember... I think it's that you do need your toe. You, you need your pinky toe. I guess, I guess you don't. I just looked it up. It flipped a desk. That's beautiful. I'd like to have a tail over toes. Same. That would be so much cooler. I don't even know what kind of tail I would want, though. I feel like I'd want a tail I could grab stuff with. Because there's so many times that I wish I just had another hand. You'll notice, now that I have webcam, um, you guys might start to notice this, but I hold my stylus in my mouth a lot. Like, because I need an extra hand, because I'm using my other hands. So you guys might start to notice that, that I start to hold things with my mouth. I just, like, reach over and, and I just toss it back into my hand. Sometimes I just need another arm. <laughs> Look at this good fluffy child. I'm kind of good. I'm gonna try to uh, kind of anthro her hands a little bit, though. By the way. Everything involving Dr. Bright is really good. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give her like little anthro hands, but honestly, I really like drawing. Speaking of little cute hooved anthro hands, um, this has literally nothing to do with what I'm about to talk about. It just, it reminded me of it. Um, so, I got home from work today and I went out on my back porch to um, dremel the legs off of a thing for my car. Um, and I didn't get to do it because the mama deer came back with the two babies and I didn't get a good picture of her, but um, she came back and the two babies are getting real big now. This chicken glaze tastes amazing. Oh, excellent. Tell you what, this music does not fit uh, Disco Sheep very well, though. <laughs> yeah, I think I might put a bow in her hair. I, I, that's what I was thinking, so I'm glad that you agree with me. What's going on with your arm, dude? <laughs> Alright, hang on. We've got shoulders. What the? Alright, so your chin is here, and your neck would be here if you were a human-shaped character. And so that means that your collarbone is here, and your chest is here. I could probably bring that in a little bit. We got shoulder. What am I sketching with the syringe? <laughs> Alright. So shoulder goes here. Arm goes here. Bring that in a little bit. Lamborghini. Lamborghini, there you go. Are you doing Tober at all or not really? Um, I am not fast enough <laughs> for Inktober. Um, I thought about uploading some line art. Just kind of... <laughs> hey guys, I, I definitely didn't forget. But, um, no, I'm not super... I, I like seeing other people's stuff. I just, I, I always have too much to do to just put everything on hold for Inktober, I guess. Uh, is my, is my problem. You know, like, 
I wish I could stop in doing Tober, but too much. There's too, there's too many things that need to get done. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. We're on the same page then. I'll probably upload some of my, um... I will probably upload some of my, um... Some of my line art that we do this month, just so that I have something. But... Yeah, I don't usually have time. Don't trust yourself with pens. Also fair. Yeah, like, I know line art's not exactly the same, but... Some people do that. Some people go with their with line art instead. Her head still seems really. I'm gonna shrink her head down just a little bit more. Like I know she needs a big head because she's a kid, but something smaller. She's only gonna be like five heads high, I think, so. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> I like this boss. This boss was cool. It's gonna be really weird hearing the music though without um, the shooting noises over top of it. <laughs> Because typically when I'm doing this boss fight, you just hear over and over and over again. Coming up with ideas is not easy. I, th that's part of it too, is like, I don't come up with enough ideas. This was a this is a good song. I like I love this song. I, Kirby and the Crystal Shards is just a good game in general. I um I can speed run the bosses a little bit. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I did it, but um, I was trying to learn how to speed run this game because speedrunners are amazing, and I will never ever be on their level, but I would love to try. So I did, and it did not go well, but... There's like a really specific method of like moving that they use that I couldn't get, I couldn't nail it. Uh, if you can find me a version of Kirby 64 that works on PC, I will play it. 100%. I will I will play that game on stream if you can find me a version that works. Um, the problem I was having with it was that um, I was trying to... Yeah, because I tried, I actually tried to put it on, uh, I tried to play it on my desktop computer, and I downloaded Project 64. Oh, that's really damn. I just realized how loud that is. Um, yeah, I tried to download it and play it, and it, like, didn't work. <laughs> uh, I couldn't get past the tutorial at the beginning because I couldn't hit the button combinations. Like it, it wouldn't, there was one key that I could not get to bind. I might have to check it with my new controller though, cause it might've been the old controller. But at the time I couldn't get it to work because the controller wouldn't bind a certain key.
literally like almost getting the beefy arms here. Like we're like two seconds away from beefy arms on this character. Oh my god, I remember this song. <laughs> a couple of these songs I haven't recognized, but this one I'm like... Nostalgia all over the place. We'll have to do this for like winter music for um... For Christmas too. All like the ice level music. All right, Flugly, have a good night. Sleep well. Sleep well. Isn't Kirby 64 one of the few games that uses the N64's D-pad? It is, and I could not get the controller to bind that. But I don't know why. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, There was something else, too, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, or a Pikmin game, yeah. I actually would love to play. Um, the Pikmin on the Wii, I thought was really good. Um, I never finished. I've never finished the first Pikmin because it was a little. It was a little too tough as nails for me. I think. Um, I had a really hard time meeting like the dates. I'm not upset about her having bigger arms, it's just because she's a kid, it looks weird that she has, like, beef arms. <laughs> or would it technically be more like... I guess Lamb Chop doesn't have, like... Lamb doesn't have, like, a specific word the way, like, beef is cow. Does it? Veal? No. Venison? That's the same thing. They're different. Sorry, those aren't even remotely the same thing. Yeah, I liked Pikmin on the Wii U. I don't know how other people felt about it, but I really liked that game. Mutton. That's the word. Thank you. She's got mutton arms. Well, she did. Now she doesn't. Thank you. It was something really obvious that, like, people like to use in video game, like, video game lore, and I just could not remember the word. Veal is baby cow? And venison's deer. Lamb is lamb. Grown sheep is mutton. My high school had a big poster or banner or something for the original Pikmin, really? Interesting. Yeah, I had a hard time with the with the first Pikmin. I don't know if I was like not the right age for it, but I had a hard time with that. Um, I like the Pikmin on the Wii U uh, game because it has the rock Pikmin in it, and the rock Pikmin are my favorite Pikmin. <laughs> the rock Pikmin are just so perfect and lazy. I love everything about them. <laughs> For all the times that I was like fighting something and I couldn't figure out where half my Pikmin went, it's because they all they were all standing in a corner and just lost. Like every now and then you'd look over and see a whole bunch of the rock Pikmin just sitting in a corner, just like picking at the grass, just like, oh wow, today's a great day. <laughs> like Choose your favorite. I like all the underground levels, which a lot of people seem to complain about. Interesting. What 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 don't people like about the underground levels? I've never played the second Pikmin, so seems like people always want to find something to complain about, which is sometimes fun. Like it's sometimes fun to nitpick stuff, but I can see why. Like there's there's like it's like to a point, you know. It's terrifying and great. Well, there you go. Something, something, water wraith. Oh. Oh, and I can't forget the bow in her hair. That's very important. 
Come back. Still need that. perspective to happen, but it's happening now. I did it anyway. <laughs> Me at Flight Rising. Yep. Alright, let's give her a big old bow in her hair. I think she still needs something on her head. Greetings, Stoic. How are you? All right. Let's go, Sheeb. Yeah, let me just rotate it back to the other way. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. She's dancing. They can be brutal sometimes, and there's no way to grow new Pikmin down there. Oh, interesting. If you stay calm, it isn't terrible. Yeah, I kind of got tired of Binding of Isaac. I mean, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. I don't certainly don't hate it. It just, I was tired of it. You gotta really like games like that to wanna, to wanna keep playing that game as forever. Really, really good game. Just kind of tired of it after a while, you know? And that'll all be in effects. I just want to put it in so we can see it. There we go. Running really hard over there. Oh, geez. All right, Dancing Sheep. There she is. All right, so we'll get line art and color on that in a little while. Step one complete. All right, let's do something else. Let's uh, let's do. Uh, let me open up on my other computer. Aubrey L, did you give me information? I think you. Oh yes, I was gonna do your panda. All right, in light of the fact that I see that Kib does not have data right now, um, I will do stuff that is not theirs right now. We'll do, uh, I'll do Tristan and Aubrey's tonight. That should give me enough to finish the hour. And if not, I'll do Nezarooks, because I th think Nezzy gave me something to work with. Yes, Steve themed Keyblade. I don't know how people can play ongoing games like Fortnite or whatever. Yeah, there's been a couple people that like I'm friends, like uh, like Fev, for example. Um, Fev is like specializing in Dauntless, which is really cool. Like she's obviously having a good time playing it and like more power to her. I don't know that I could stream a game like that forever, you know? I'm not sure that I would be very good at, at, um, at just playing the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> All right. I had a really specific idea in mind when I was thinking about this, and now I'm trying to remember what it was. Alright, so I kinda wanna do like, alright, so it's gonna be sitting like this. Sketch of. Sketch of the red panda, there we go.
to if you push your face up like this. Oh no, Fev is, Fev is the best. Fev is so good. Like, <laughs> that's totally not like a critique about Fev or anything. But I like I don't know that I personally could play a game for for as long as Fev has done Dauntless. So you know, like more, I'm glad that she has found a game that she enjoys playing so much that she would just keep playing it like that. You know, her and her friends are into it with her. That does help. Yeah, she was considered for a partnership with them. That's super cool. Monster Hunter costs money. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna have her lying down. You want her lying down on her back? Because I was gonna have her, like... Here, let me... Let me doodle out what I was thinking, and then, um... If you don't like it, we'll... I'll, I'll start... I'll do it on her back, but... Yeah, so I was kind of- I, I was picturing, and I'm gonna have to adjust the proportions now, because I've- um, uh, I'm very good at things. I was- I was gonna have her lying on her stomach, right? So... You know, she'd have her hand up on her face like this. Um, I'm trying to think of how you would... Suddenly, I don't remember how rib cages work. <laughs> and then she could be holding like a little toy or something. She's a tail, right? Does she have a tail? I don't remember. I could have her tail coming up around like this. If she if she does have a tail, I'll do that with it. And then the little kitten. And then that way you could cut it to be like a banner, you know? I used to try to stream, but the last games I played were a little not safe for Twitch. <laughs> yeah, if you stream something on Friday, sure. I come, I pop by. I try to like anytime I see you guys streaming. I try like if any anybody in the stack is streaming, I try to stop by at least for a little bit. Yeah, I think I still have it. Um. Yeah, so if you're cool with that, that's what I'll that's what I'll do. Kuro, Kuro picked out a lot of Super Super Mario and stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll center her up. I'll bring the kitten a little closer. I think I, I think I know how to do that. I think I can do it. sure I get her face right.
portions of everything are right now, just not the gap on the kitten side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Yep, I will do that. Panda nose in there. Face is still a little longer. I don't remember how long red panda faces are, though. Um, do you want any text on this at all? I think I'm gonna have to center it anyway, because sometimes uploading things to, like, Twitch and stuff, or, or not Twitch, uh, YouTube and, and whatnot are kind of derpy when it comes to, like, the sizing of it. So it's definitely gonna have to be centered, and I'll fix that when I am done with the sketch. Doesn't have to? Okay. I wasn't sure if you were gonna put text on it, so... I, I have found that centering text on headers is really hard. Especially since it's sometimes not readable. This brush am I using? Oh, 17. That's why this is... This is why this isn't working. <laughs> This little nice, like, heart shape right here, though. That it gives me something to draw her from. She looks really funny without a nose, though. This happened when I drew the, this, this one back here. It was the same thing. I like. She looks goofy without a nose. <laughs> you were doing laundry. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna look up a red panda real quick. Because I don't actually- I don't know how far out their noses go. I know you said it's like a cat, but I need to see it. <laughs> oh, that's actually about right. Something doesn't look right, though. Circle. There we go. Like Crookshank's really a squash with yeah. The muzzle looked like a duck bill. <laughs> it did a little bit, didn't it? I put her eyes here and here. Makes this the side of her head. kind of stick out a little bit. So many pictures of red pandas are from, like, the front that it looks weird to draw it from the side like this. <laughs> Sorry, I totally lost track of what we were talking about. I was just, like, trying to figure out how to draw faces.
Yeah, the ears and the ruff, I think, are throwing me off also. Well, it's a good thing I'm gonna merge this layer into the rough sketch, because... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it as a junky outline. We're gonna have to do three stages worth of, uh... sketching on this one, I think. Just so I can make sure I get all her proportions right. Every now and then I run into something that I need to do like a couple different iterations of sketching to make sure that the proportions are all correct, like, you know, roughing it out and then... I'm not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so complex. Oh, I know, it's just, it's the worst. Oh, so hard. How dare. How dare you pay me money so that I can draw you a thing. Just the worst. And here you used to think that the Disco Sheep was complex, right? The Disco Sheep's gonna have a lot of stuff with the background, actually. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of the different colors and highlights and junk on the tile. Like, Disco Sheep, a lot of the complexity of the Disco one is gonna be in how I handle the lighting. You know what? I just remembered I have a webcam now, so I can, like... I don't know, it doesn't help me. Not so crazy ears into the back. Because I have a tendency to draw ears weird. Let's. better. So, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but I have, I've always had trouble with like the different versions of laying, laying, lying, like, I, have you guys ever had, have you guys had trouble with that? Cause I know, I don't know which one's which. See, like I want her to pose like this, but I need the arm to be the front, oh, there we go. That's not perfect, but. Not quite it. 
that's on the wrong side, but... Those are the hardest poses. You kind of have to contort the body in ways that aren't necessarily normal. I mean, they're normal, but it's not the same as drawing a standing pose. You're kind of contorting the body in on itself. And you start losing out on shapes that you normally use to anchor stuff. I guess. Laying is laying down like a carton of eggs on a walrus. Lying is lying down. There's no trick to it. There must be an easy way to remember. <laughs> If there is, nobody told me what it was. I've already screwed it up. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get her. Let me draw her back in first. That would help. Her neck comes down like this. So this is the shoulder. Using other anchors helps, too. Like, anchoring it to, say, you know, the t-shirt instead. But yeah, this is this is not an easy pose to draw. So if anybody here is an artist and struggles with poses like this, like, I get you. <laughs> I feel your pain. Why is the thing you do to yourself lay you would do to something else? There you go. Snappy example. <laughs> it still feels really small. That's the other problem. That <laughs> the body parts always feel really small when you squish them together like this. I guess. It's kind of the... Uh, that is about right. And then your forearm is the height of your head. Her forearm's too small. I think her hand might be a little too small too, because if you rest your palm on your chin, you should be able to touch the middle of your forehead about. I think her hand is maybe just a smidge too small. I would say it's not by much. That's the other thing you're going to start to see me do now that I have a webcam, is you're going to see me starting to touch my own face trying to figure out proportions. Just going to adjust. Much better input. Good. Welcome. Welcome to Laptop Land. That's kind of the pose. Yay, Shutterstock! <laughs> so it's kind of... I touched you with my finger. Where are you? Where did you go?
I think there's a mosquito in here with me. Touched him. <laughs> Alright, Arm, I'm gonna need you to get out of here for just a minute! You little motherfucker, get back here! Listen, all right, I just want you guys to know a thing, all right? <laughs> I am slightly allergic to mosquitoes, and by slightly allergic, I mean that if I get stung, I won't necessarily die, but instead of getting a welt that's like this big, I'm gonna get a welt that's like this big. <laughs> and so I really don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, so with the webcam, you guys get to see me diving out of my seat to kill a mosquito. And adjusting my shirt, because I'm a goddamn mess. <laughs> There's a mos There was a mosquito in here. There might even be another one. I'm not really sure. <laughs> my cat was sitting out on the porch, and I didn't want to disturb her, so I left the door open a little bit. But then all the mosquitoes came in. <laughs> and the mosquitoes were like, hey, we live here now. And I was like, um, no you don't. <laughs> Did you succeed? I did. I got him. Yep. I got him. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. You know who hasn't come to bother us, though, since I did this webcam thing? My cat. Hey! I guess that explains- I guess that explains why she doesn't want to come hang out with us, is because she was- my cat sleeping on the bed. I just assumed that she was going to want to, um, come say hi, but it's not. <laughs> Sleeping is also very important. <laughs> yeah, mosquitoes are the worst. I even have, like, a little ultrasonic thing out on the porch to stop them, like, to well, help prevent the mosquitoes. It never actually, like, stops them, but... <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have to dredge up all these <laughs> suppressed anatomy. All this suppressed anatomy knowledge. shape arms, I should say. The fruit fly, does, while annoying, does not require the same level of diving into the floor. <laughs> It'd be hard to look up references without that being, feeling creepy sometimes. I feel really weird anytime I have to draw Kib's um, child characters because I have to look up things like children in swimsuits or children playing or like I but I have to look up pictures of kids and I always like every time I search in like child swimsuits I feel and then look at pictures I feel like like I just got put on like you know like the NSA's watch list like they're like all right we got to keep an eye on her feet women's feet damn it young girls feet right yeah like it's for artistic reasons and it's not even like I'm looking at weird pictures but like Especially when I'm looking up proportions for children, I have to I have to search something like children anatomy. That feels awkward. It's not because I'm looking at that kind of stuff. It's just like I feel like somebody's gonna like judge me. Like somewhere in the world, the NSA is like, oh, no. Fruit flies. I swear to fucking Christ. Some of you guys were here for the uh, male anatomy portion of the stream, which is the entire reason that um, the mature filter is even on on this stream. <laughs> Although it's probably for the best since I swear like a fucking lot. But that's actually the reason that we have a mature filter on the stream. 
was the male anatomy <laughs> debacle. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're foreshortened a little bit. Um, I have to add, let me add a couple more lines to. That'll help that one. actually about right, I would say. You drew a Tefla head, excellent. You didn't see it, Stoic? Um, basically what happened was I was trying to draw a person, and so I looked up male torso anatomy, and I was looking at, like, a skeleton or whatever, like, I had a, I had a whole Google page full of, like, anatomical drawings of the torso, and, um, I, uh, um, my cat walked across my keyboard. It was also the reason I got this. I have, I have another keyboard. Like, I have this separate keyboard that's, like, usb into the laptop. Even though the laptop already has a keyboard on it. Um, she walked across my keyboard and somehow managed to input the correct number of stepping on my trackpad to delete the um, torso part of male torso anatomy. And so immediately, the Google search changed to just dicks. Just it, the whole... Oh, there's a penis. So I was like, well, we need a mature content filter on this stream now because if I'm going to be looking at anatomical pictures, there's a chance that I could show a peen. Which I don't care because it's it's for research purposes, you know? It's the same thing when I look at reference photos of, like, nude women. It's not for that reason, so it's just because I need to look at a, uh, at a body to draw it. I, uh, I was like, we should probably put a mature content filter on it just in case. <laughs> I don't need Twitch getting pissed at me because I shoot it because I, I showed a dick on stream. <laughs> yeah, the cat was like, "No, you need to look at you need to look at dicks." All right, so then her collarbone is like right. So this is actually not. There we go. All right, so that's kind of like that. That's her neck. That's her collarbone. It means that her rib cage comes down here. Her lower back goes like that. Your rib cage is right here. And then lower back, hips. It folds in there on her shirt. That would be a dick moves on Twitch's part. Ha! Right. <laughs> Sorry, I do this weird thing where I lick the tip of my nose anytime it itches. I don't know why I do that, and I don't know where I developed that habit, but I sometimes just touch the bottom of my nose. When I could just as easily reach my foot up, or reach my foot up, I'm looking at feet. <laughs> we were just talking about feet. Um, I could just easily reach my hand up and uh, scratch my nose. Also, <laughs> that would be quite the feat if I... Ha! All these puns. Accidental puns. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation. <laughs> it would be quite the feat if I could get my foot up on the stream, though. <laughs> Her body just needs to be scaled up. I would argue that her body is fine compared to her arms. I think it's just, or her head's compared, fine compared to the arms, because that's what I was referencing. 
usually at the end of a drawing, like once I'm done sketching or if I notice something weird, I'll flip the drawing and then just see if anything feels off. Because oftentimes I miss something while I'm sketching, especially since I'm zoomed in so close. So I'm always prepared to just stop and, and back up and just look at the drawing from a distance and be like, all right, what's, what's weird here? Something doesn't feel right or whatever. It may have had trouble in the name somewhere. Um, it could have deleted it. I don't know how. I don't know how. Um, um, I don't know how iTunes chooses the titles. Oh, you were looking for it on YouTube. Interesting. Um. <laughs> I think I think this may be a remix. I know what this is from, and I I think I think this might be a remix. I'm gonna do a little live editing on the uh It occurred to me that because I'm leaning forward, um, that I my chin was sinking off the bottom of the webcam. The real songs are on Gilva Sunner, the fake songs are on Silva Gutter. Sneaky. That's very sneaky. Don't look up mo songs on mobile ever again, you got it. Okay, that should be good for her. Eyes will go there. I'll draw the correct eyes in in a minute. There was a YouTuber I watched who did like a review of the Glob Go Gab Glab and it, he got it copyright striked because the dude was like, I'm sure it was because the dude was pissed that, that he was like making fun of it because it's a really bad movie. Which actually was, like, kind of unfair, like, to a point only because he was actually not even being that mean. He wasn't being as mean as he usually is with bad movies. Like, he was trying to be, at least be like, well, but this guy was working by himself and, and you know, he was doing the best he could. Alright, let's see if I actually can draw a... Hand without ripples. Answer is probably no. Oops. Uh, okay, I can draw a hand without reference. I don't know if it's the hand I wanted though. <laughs> Saber spark. Yep. I enjoy his stuff. I don't know. I mean, he's one of those YouTubers that, like, after a while I kind of got tired of his tone of voice and he uses kind of the same phrasing on all his videos, so, like...
but I don't know. Can the cat toy be feathers? Plural? You just read my mind. Oh man, I had it. I'm gonna actually do something a little different with it though. Um, let me have it like. This is better. If you've watched him, you've watched the review of What's Up, Balloon to the Rescue. Oh god, that one's so good. <laughs> and by so good, I mean what the fuck were they thinking with that movie? I might draw the cat, like, laying down also, just... Like me. You know, I'll just draw the kitten, like... Except not up that high, obviously. But that way I can do something cute with him. <laughs> Weird to hear people talk about obscure YouTube channels that, uh, that nobody I've ever met has heard of. Yep. I find all kind of weird obscure YouTube channels because I get bored of watching the same stuff. Or listening to the same stuff. My favorite is a talking cat, and yes. Oh, that's such a bad movie, but it's so good. Um, Birdemic Shock and Terror is pretty good, too. Pandemic was my introduction to the joys of watching bad movies with friends. That's so good, though. I know it's like the popular thing to hate John Tron right now because he did say some some pretty awful things. But um I love his video about Birdemic. Like all of his like shit movie reviews are so good. <laughs> is how do bodies work? <laughs> I want you to know I looked up Aristocats uh, on my other computer for reference for cartoon cats and it just occurred to me that all of the kittens all have something tied around their neck so that you don't have to um, so that you don't have to draw it. Uh, give me a minute, Aubrey. I'll, I'll get to that. It feels like, um, it, it feels like, oh, I'm just gonna put a paw here to cover it up, so. <laughs> you gotta let me draw it fluffy first, and then I'll, I'll, I'll back up, because that helps me define the shape a little bit. I can cut down the, the fluff now. It's 
Jusqu'à tout ce que vous êtes. Au Needs to come down a little bit too. Maybe a smidgen bigger. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna put Kitten on a separate layer and turn down his opacity since I did draw his pose a little differently. Um, I kind of want him like center, like, he's, like right in the middle of where her arms would be. You're gonna check the rest of the list, <laughs> okay. I'm not used to people, um, I, I, you have to forgive me too. I, I, I'm not used to people giving me feedback while I'm drawing, because sometimes I've thought about whatever it is that you've said, like, two, for like, for like three steps from now, you know? That is the, that is the positive and negative of, um, drawing live, is that, like, I can get feedback right away if I go, oh, hey, you know, it's not on your character sheet, but what car color your character's eyes or whatever. Like, you know, I can get a quick answer, but then sometimes, you know, it's really easy to be like, oh, um, can you do this with the character instead? And I'll, uh, in my head, I'm going, oh, yeah, I planned that already. I was going to do it. But it, it doesn't bother me. It, so, you know, <laughs> if that makes you feel any better, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> That is the, the the trickiness of drawing live, though. Is getting the feedback as as I'm doing it. But no, you're totally fine. Yeah, I like how Disney did that, um, I like that Disney did the, um, you know, the hands behind the back thing with the Aristocats, you know, like, you know how people, like, you know, like, younger artists will draw the character's hands behind their back so they don't have to draw the hands, you know? That's kind of what the Aristocats did with their kittens, they didn't want to draw the kitten's neck, so they are, all, all of them are wearing a tie, like, some kind of ribbon, or a collar, or a tie. I'm sure that's not why they did it, it's probably like a character feature, but it was just funny to me that like... You know, it, it like prevented me from being able to see their necks. <laughs> I feel like I'm drawing them too much like the panda. Yeah, there we go. A little more triangly, a little less whatever the other whatever that other shape was that I had going on. <laughs> Needs to be a little smaller, I think. Is this a Banjo Kazooie? No, it's Donkey Kong. Which I guess was also rare, wasn't it? It's funny, Rareware has like their little style of music. I'm sad that my cat didn't come to visit us today. She probably knows I have the camera on. She's really good about, like, not doing anything cute whenever I have a camera on. <laughs> Most of the cute pictures I have of her that are on the Discord um, are from when she wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Wah! I want to check out your drawing of, um, of uh, Tefla, then. I love her name, by the way. 
It sounds like Tesla and Teflon, and I, for some reason, that I like that. I don't know. Something about that just amuses me. For some reason, I feel like that fits in Sura. I don't know why. I should put the pause on the other side. Cute little toe beans. Actually, why am I not drawing the toe beans? Toe beans are like the best part. Get those little toe beans in there. So many people call her Teflon. <laughs> it at first it makes me think of like Tesla, which I think fits in Asura, and I don't know uh, for something about Teflon also gets gets me like I, for some reason that feels like it also fits and i'm not really sure why gotta get those toe beans they're very important and that little chubby kitty belly kitten's got those little chunky bellies All right, let me fix her eyes. <laughs> I'm happy with her face now. I wanted to, I wanted to take a minute to step off of um the character like the I guess the character Aubriel for a second just so that I could like come back to it and say, okay, yeah, I'm definitely happy with that face proportion. That's the other thing that I always forget to do is to, like take a minute to step back, you know, and just think about it and see how you feel. Should have enough room for her markings, which will go there and there. That'll be a little bit fine. Yeah, she did look really shocked with the wide eyes, like, oh, wow, it's a kitten. You didn't actually give me Silva Gunner's version of Holly Honey Hive Galaxy. <sighs> the honey, okay. I bet she's more of a fire magic user than a storm magic user. Ah, that's true. That would be great. Uh, speaking of the Honey High Galaxy music, um, like Kuro, I'm pretty sure you and I have talked about it, but I love the um, uh, the, the Mario Galaxy repainted that Vinny did. That like I guess his community made it for him and he played it. The Honey Hive Galaxy is so good in that game. If no, if you guys haven't seen it and you have like sometime. Yeah, that's the one. I love it. Oh, it's so good. I just kind of want to make the kitten just a smidge bigger. Alright, let's center them on the page. That's the one. I mean... I'm going to leave it... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do with the proportion, right? I'm going to leave it like this and do the rest of the artwork like uh, at, on this proportion. I'm going to have to make two separate... Like, I'm going to have to take this art and put it into separate versions for the headers for the stuff you need. But I'm going to work on it like this, so... Oh, we didn't change it, thank God. We just you did! <laughs> yep. I liked, um... Oh, who was the other guy that was with him? I like that he tried to like deny it for a second. He's like, oh yeah, we couldn't we couldn't change this one for some reason. <laughs> Did that come that came after the dolphin section, right? Because I think that was why I, that's why I would have believed it, because the dolphin section you couldn't change the music, so. Yeah, I think her tail's a little chunkier at the base. I have the ref next to me. I was just drawing it before that.
Oh, it's less fluffy, too. I'm not gonna lie. It's more like a sock shape. on the spots where it would be floofy so like um high angle points so like in here i wouldn't give it a floof the, a little bit of a different tail but like up here is a good spot where it would kind of where the curve would cause the fur to pop up just a little bit we'll fluff up the tip a little bit so that it's a little bit rounder that should do it Little floof is good. And then she's got... Obviously, when I do line art, I'll make these beautiful, but... Got little squiggles. The reason he decided to deny it is because Vinny said something like, I really like the music you well, here while I used to. Yeah, yeah. That is true. He fully expected it to be changed. It's 12 stripes, ex stripes exactly. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11. Well, there you go. Yeah, it was just to, just to see how it looks with the stripes on it, but yeah. Uh, and then she'll have her little sleeve glove things. I mean, they're not actually gloves, but... There. I think that's all the patterns you can see from this angle. It's on her ears too. I can get that later. All right, so that's that's that. Save that up. Oh, how much time we got? We got ten minutes. Uh. That whole episode was just was just a that was a trip. That was amazing. I enjoyed every second of that. It's in here somewhere. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do a rough sketch of this one. Um, I don't know that Tristan's ever come to hang out and chat with us. I also do not have the character. Well, I'll just do the rough sketch for this one. Thumbnail. Sketches in the art chair, let me. Oh, yeah, she looks great! Yeah, you've definitely got the face proportion now. I love the big ears. That's so good. Yeah, you did an awesome job with that. Oh, I like it. So this one, Tristan asked for their shark character, who I don't appear to have a- Actually, that's gonna bother me. Yet. Isn't that funny? 
2017 folder? Oh yeah, it totally is. Alright. Stephanie Rainfall, this cool shark character. Uh, he's gonna be like... I'll do a thumbnail. Background and shit on it. facing forward, but now I think I kind of want to have her, like, looking over her shoulder, maybe? Like, gotta be holding her cup. <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> For some reason, the cup is, like, her quirk. Center her a little better, though. Go. Shork! Yes. I had a lot of fun with this character, actually. I don't know if she ever puts her hair up, but I feel like she would ever this picture. I don't know why. sign right here with something written on it. If I make it like a little beach like tea hut thing then I could do maybe some like little cone like string lights up here. I'm down like that. Is it technically cheating if I don't draw like most of the body? He only paid me 40 bucks for it so we'll just, we'll just do that. I think this will be right. It'll be worth every penny. Oh jeez. What's a well-known well-known scene in fiction of a doctor intentionally killing their patient? Or a comedic scene of an incompetent doctor? Uh, I don't know. I uh, can't think of any. Those kind of scenes always make, like, anything, like, doctor-related always makes me kind of uncomfortable, so. <laughs> Let me just for that to double -talk. So, a person back here, like, sitting. Same, yeah. I don't know, I've always had trouble with that kind of stuff. Alright, so that's how I would do a thumbnail for this. I should have charged way more than 40 bucks for this. I need to figure out, like, a base price for... That reminds me, I was gonna talk to you guys about this. Um, I think at the beginning of next year, so, like in January. Um, I'm gonna up my prices again by just a little bit. Not a whole lot. I'm just gonna bump them up by, like, five or ten bucks, and I'm definitely gonna add, like, this is the base price for this style of background, regardless of what format it's in. Um, and then maybe just fluctuate the price a little bit, depending on the complexity, but I've been finding myself kind of stressed out charging you guys for backgrounds, so I think I'm just gonna set, like, a base price. But I'm not gonna do that until after Christmas. I would feel really bad if I suddenly went... Oh, by the way, guys, it's Christmas time. I bet you guys want to buy art for your friends and family. Guess what? It's twice as much money, you know? Like, so I'll wait till after Christmas and not screw you guys up too much. But actually, even after Christmas is kind of a dick move because then you all have money from Christmas. 
I don't know. I know I want to up my prices a little bit, or at least add background prices, so I'll figure it out. Ugh, but... Know that I'm thinking about changing it, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> um... What was I doing? I was upping this to a bigger size. Yeah, so for this site, what I would do is I would up this a little bit, and then um, I would just draw kind of on top of this and use it as a guide for the, like, the whole piece. So I would be drawing, you know, I might not draw this exactly where she is, but, you know, I would draw her head, and her eyes would be, like, here and here. When I draw humans, I draw my noses right here, but she's not a human, so I can... Fun. We want art from you. Oh well, I'm glad. To, I'm glad that you think that. I always, I always feel bad. <laughs> I wish I could just do this as a hobby, like, but I do need the extra cash, and I hate admitting that. <laughs> More nightmares for people who have played Super, uh, Super Paper Mario. All the nightmares. I'm still gonna wait till after the holidays, though. That I've already decided that that's what I want to do. I need time to make the new sheet and everything, so... Neck muscle here. I could do it, like over the holidays. I want to buff my purple label. So, that doesn't look like her. That's the kind of thing I would do, though. I would, like, draw the proportional picture over top of it and adjust the sketch as I go. But it's 10 o'clock. I'm kind of tired. It's really hot in here for some reason, so I am gonna actually get ready for bed, because I have to go to work. Yay. Alright, let's turn, turn myself back to the camera. Hey, you know what? I had a really good productive night. It's been a hot minute since I did any kind of art that I felt like I was being productive at, so good, uh, good start. Uh, who should we go say hello to? Hey, dragon, are you actually streaming tonight? Oh! Aw! Basher! Thank you so much for the resub! One more month and you get the cute purple axolotl! Thank you so much for, for the resub! Can we get some love in the chat for, for Basher? For all that, all that support, all that support and love. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, okay, Day Dragon is definitely streaming. Let's go say hello to Day Dragon. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll do that in just a moment. If you have somewhere to be, I would appreciate if you just hung out for a minute. Just, just come say hi to Day Dragon, and then we'll, then you can peace on out. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for more SCP. We're gonna try to, we're gonna try to get out of, um, 914's room. <laughs> We're gonna just try to survive the onslaught of SCP coming at us. So, uh, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And then, uh, paying the axolotl bills one sub and commission at a time. Heck yeah. That's me. Yeah, you work tomorrow morning early. Same. Um. Yeah, no, you guys keep me alive. Because my first paycheck of the month is rough. It, like, barely covers my rent. So, I do, appre I do appreciate you guys, you know, subbing and... and and the occasional donation I appreciate, and the commission I always appreciate, because I, I get the money and the fun of drawing art for you guys, so it's like, it's like the best of both worlds, it's so good. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow for SCP, um, and yeah, if there's anybody lurking who's not following, you should do that, because we're pretty cool, and the people in the chat are pretty cool, so you should hang out with us. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let's go say hi to Day Dragon. I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright? Oh, and thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. You're so good. All right, bye.